Next, we want to take a look at how to protect your posts and pages. Okay, so your membership site, even if it's free, uh, you might want to protect uh, your mem the contents of your membership site from unauthorized uh, visitors, from someone who hasn't subscribed to your membership site. Okay, even though your membership site content may be free, but you want people to register with you first before you actually let them uh, view your content. Okay, if it's for ClickBank or PayPal, if they're paying, then of course you also want to protect uh, the posts or pages. Profits team can protect both posts and pages, and the way to do that is actually quite simple. You go to Profits team membership and protect posts or pages. Okay, now you select a product or level you want to protect. Let's say I want to protect the uh, let's say the free one. Okay, photography free. Okay. Okay, of uh, set posts and pages will load up uh, at the bottom. Okay, you can enable non-members to view the title or excerpt of protected contents just to give them some kind of a teaser content. You can check this box if you want, and if you want to protect posts, uh, all the posts that we have created are is going to show up here. You can select whether you which which one you want to protect. For example, if you want to protect the hello world, then you can just take this check this box and then use a drip fill, drip start and drip and enter numerical value here. It says that note the drip start once drip start fill one means immediately available. So you want this to be let's say immediately available. And you click one and you click uh, drip and means uh, when the content will expire. If you want the content not to expire, then you just create a very uh, big numerical value here. Okay, and this is in number of days. Okay, one means uh, available immediately. Drip end in means that uh, it will end in 9,998 9, days from today. Okay, just click Save Changes. Okay. Yeah. Next, if you want to protect pages, you go to click pages here. Okay, and it will show a list of pages that you have created inside your blog, right? So let's say in our example, you want we want to protect the photography, uh, let's say photography free. You want to protect the module one, module two, and everything here. So you want to protect and also the uh, membership homepage, right? So you want to protect uh, photography free membership sign up. No, uh, login page. Hold on for a second. Photography membership site. Yes. This is the home page, which is this one. Home page, okay. So let's say you want it to be available immediately. You choose one. You hit save changes. Be sh be sure to hit save changes before you go to the next page. Okay, then I want to also photography. Okay, page. Let's go to page number two. And you want to protect the. Okay, it's not here. Page number three. Okay. Okay, hold on. <laughs> it's not showing up here. Maybe I missed something. Let's go back to page number one. Yeah, missed that. Okay, land settings, lighting settings, what camera to buy, introduction. All is going to be protected, right? And the module one and module two as well. Right now, let's see. Module one, you want this to be available immediately, right? 
so module one is middle is one is fine and next is introduction and what camera to buy introduction you want this to be available immediately and what camera to buy one day later one day later means that uh, put a two here and it's number two module two you wanted to lighting settings just two days let later lighting settings this means three and lens settings is three days let later which means four over here and the module two is available two days later right module two is two days later Right here okay and then I just hit save changes okay now all the contents that I check up is protected if you do not want to protect content you just need to uncheck the box and then click save changes and prophecy will unprotect the content okay again yeah, this is for the photography free if you want to specify let's say the photography for Clickbank okay it will load up a new page just bear with me for a second okay you can choose again you can choose the post or the pages that you want to protect as well as the drip feed uh, feature if you want content to be available immediately choose you enter one here if you want to uh, of make the content available like one day later you make you put two here okay and a drip end is when the content is going to expire okay and this is a number of days all right be sure to save your changes uh, every time and before you go to the next page page number two or page number three you also need to click the save changes first